Hello, this is Wiley. I'm here at CES 2018 and I am over here at the Drone Art Booth. Now, I have not heard of this company, but I, what I realized after talking to them is that they've been around for a very long time and I'm going to let Jamie here talk about it. But it's really cool. They have some really innovative products. We're going to get into all of that. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about what Drone Art is. Sure. Um, so, yeah, we are actually, our original name was RC Logger. Um, we've been around for almost eight years now, so we've been doing this a while. We started in the hobby industry. We were doing things like data logging and things like that. Um, we got into digital pitch gauges with helicopters. And so we've really been in the hobby industry for quite a while. Uh, we did our first drone probably about six years ago. So okay. again, we've been doing that as well, kind of even before it really became the big thing. And um, but the last uh, two and a half years, three years, we've started to more focus only on drones and not all the other products. And so uh, about a year and a half ago, then we decided to kind of shift our name to, to Drone Art because it's just a more recognizable name and also showcases who we are as a company and as a brand. And uh, so anyway, so if you've not heard of Drone Art, you might have been familiar with RC Logger in the past. Um, so we're still the same company, the same people but we're getting into only the drone focus um, yeah. arena. You do, so. you do have to move with the changing of technologies, absolutely, right? Absolutely, of course. And you roll up to Conrad, which is a very large company. Yes, absolutely. Conrad is our parent company, um, and Conrad is very well known, very, very strong, especially in the Europe market. Uh, they're one of the top, and uh, then we're out of the Conrad Hong Kong branch. So. Um, so we're a branch of that and then just focus completely on this. Very cool. So that's a good history lesson right there. Now let's go ahead and get into the stuff that you really want to know about. Sure. Let's talk about these drones. What do you got here? Absolutely. Well, the first one we have here today that we're showcasing is our uh, Extreme V2. Um, this is out on the market already. So it's something that we just launched for sale about two months ago. And uh, this is kind of for someone that has seen FPV, they want to get into it, but they don't know where to start or they don't want to know how to build, how to program, all these different things. So this is the ready to fly out of the box package. So um, what you have is you have your, your drone itself. Uh, it comes with this radio, which we've made very, very basic and simple in terms of has 4.3 inch monitor built right in. So you have 5.8 gigahertz speed that goes directly in. So you're seeing what's there. Um, and it just has that, that feel that's comfortable to everyone. The video, game, the video controller game controller feel, yeah. feel, yeah. So you've got your buttons in place of switches that have all your, your controls as well. Um, and it has four different flight modes, um, so you can go from beginner up to expert. Um, it has things like altitude height hold to help. Um, and then it also has onboard video recording, uh, 720p HD. Um, and that's then sending 5.8 gigahertz. So if you have your own goggles, then you can use any goggle set. Um, or we also have our own goggle set that actually has a cable that has a video in. So just all plugs in, it's all integrated. It's all plug and play, so, so it's very easy for the end user. Correct, so it's very much focused for the beginner, uh, for someone wanting to learn to fly and just pull it out and fly. You can customize with different canopy colors, all those things. Um, one of the unique things about it though is also directly spectrum compatible. So if you have a spectrum radio, a hobby grade radio like that, you can just bind right to it and use your hobby grade radio. Um, it also excellent. has a PPM port, so if you have FR Sky or Futaba or any of those, then you can still fly this with those radios as well. That's a really nice feature because yeah. it's really nice to have a ready to fly unit that you can upgrade as you learn more if you want a better radio system or if you have an existing radio system. So Absolutely. really nice. Yes. And yeah. the goggle system in case you want to get that true first person view instead of using the screen. So you kind of thought of everything for the beginner to be able to, you know, change with their changing requirements. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a grow with you type drone. It comes with a 2S battery, um, but we also offer 3S as well. Um, and then we also offer performance props so you can kind of build your way up. up. You yeah, know. absolutely. From beginner to, to, you know, moving on to the more professional type stuff. Definitely. What's the MSRP on that? The MSRP is 189 on that. So with the goggles, it's 219. So 189 inclu includes the controller? 189 is ready to fly out the box, everything you need. Yeah. There you go, Batteries, pretty good price point. All that. So. Yeah, and very nice price point. So now we're gonna move over to something that's near and dear to my heart, which is the micro drones. It's getting cold right now, so it's always nice to have little small little drone that you can fly indoors or in little you know small areas. So we're gonna go over there and take a look at that. 
All right, so we are over at the next table, and these are near and dear to my heart. I always love the small racing drones. They're tight. They're very, I don't know, they're hard to break, in yeah, my opinion. They are, they are. And they don't scare anybody, so I always love these, and these look really cool. So, Jamie, take it away. Tell me about this product. Sure, why? Well, um, so, yeah, so this is our new RCIM Primo. Um, it comes in at 73 millimeters, so very, very small. Um, and obviously, as most of you know, then the Tiny Whoop Arena is where it's at. That's what everyone's doing, especially like you said, when it's cold outside or just, you know, in the evening you're sitting around the house and it's you want cheap. to do some flying. It's easy you know? and it's cheap, you know. Um, obviously, the downfall is, is the brushed motor. Um, everyone's always wanting more power and then, you know, they're not the most uh, robust. You, you're always having to replace some of those type of things. So, so this is our brushless series of, uh, of micro drones. And so it comes in three different variations. Uh, this is your baseline, which has no camera. So if you're just wanting to fly a line of sight, um, this one has 480p. So it's your standard, you know, analog micro, signal, yeah. analog 5.8. This one's a little unique. Uh, this one actually has a 1080p, a true 1080p camera built on board, and then it also has onboard recording as well. Um, and then it has a board that actually transmits down to 480 to send out that 5.8 analog. So. Um, so yeah, this one's kind of our, our bread and butter in terms of this series. So um, This is the flagship line right there. The flagship, yeah. So what's really unique though and separates this be from some of the others you're seeing, a couple of things. Uh, number one, it comes in a box where it is a kit. So, But when I say a kit, it's super easy to put together, no soldering required. Uh, even the motors have connectors on them, which is a, a tricky thing to do with brushless to get that, you know, the power that you need through a connector. Um, so it's a really simple build, but we wanted to give people the opportunity to kind of learn how everything goes together, how everything works. That way you can get into bigger builds and more professional type stuff. Um, the other thing is it's a 20 by 20 stack. Um, it has beta flight on it. It's a F4 controller. Um, the beautiful thing on the ESC uh, is it can actually handle 20 amp. So we've actually even flown these boards on 5S. There um, you go. So, <laughs> Five so, S on a mini quad. Um, I've never seen that before. Oh, so anyway, so so you can actually even take these small boards and put them on, you know, a larger like 200 size frame or 220. Um, so and then they also have LEDs all over them as well. That um, so when you change flight mode, you can actually see those changes and things. Um, so that's something we integrate as well. Uh, the other thing that really makes these unique as well is uh, you can 3D print the whole entire frame. So. The frame parts, the molded parts, everything you can print. So if you want to make your own colors, or if you break a part and you need a new one real quick, you just print it off. Um, so in the box, it comes with the carbon frame and the molded pieces. So you can build it just like you see it here, or you can take the files, download them, and just print however you want as well, or you know manipulate them however you want and do your own custom stuff too. So um, the last thing I'll say that's actually quite cool about these is um, the, there's two different flight controllers. So there's a Spectrum flight controller or a FR Sky flight controller. So you can pick which one you want. And both of them are auto bind. Um, we That's are one always of the nice. first to make an FR Sky auto bind. So you literally plug in the power, wait about 10 seconds, you get rapid flash, hit bind, that's it. No trying to uh, hit the little pin yeah, and trying try to hit the little, the little pin yeah. and all that stuff. Or, yeah, so anyway, so it has auto bind built right into it. Um, so yeah, these things are just great. We've toured these things all around. We've even been flying them around indoors here a little bit, you know, probably shouldn't, but you know, uh, like you said, they're, they, they're, they're very much harmless compared to the bigger stuff. Exactly. So, um, so yeah, they're tons of fun. And for people that have flown tiny whoops or anything micro, and they're just like, I, I just want more power. I want to feel like I'm flying something bigger then that's what you're getting with these. So. Yeah, definitely some of the most interesting quality components that I've seen on a micro drone. We're talking about something that's very rigid, We're talking about components that can actually fly literally a five inch quad as long as it's efficient. You can't, you know, blow out a 20 right. amp BSC. Absolutely. But, you know, good quality components, nice, you know, form factor, and it just feels like it's a really quality micro drone. So definitely something that I'm looking forward to actually getting into my hands in flying. It's just one of those things where it's always nice to have stuff like these. Yes, for sure, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the custom drones and awesome. then uh, we'll wrap up. Sounds great. All right, we are at the last station and this is to the point where you really want to build your own stuff. You know, if you're into this hobby, if you're into this sport, eventually you're going to get to the point where like, I want to be able to select every component that goes onto my drone. And this is kind of the platform you want to go to. So Jamie, can you take it away? 
Sure, so this is our brand new performance line. Um, we're just getting into the performance series. We've always done kind of the hobby slash consumer type stuff. Um, and so this is truly all about performance. Um, we basically wanted to go super light, super fast, super strong. That was kind of our, our motto with this. And uh, so this is our new Aeon series. Um, we have a lot of other series coming, but this is our first introduction into the performance line. So um, we're really excited about these. So essentially what you have is, I'll, I'll grab one of these real quick. So what we're gonna sell these as is you can buy just the frame as a standalone with the hardware, or you can buy the kit. So basically on our website, you can choose the frame and then start kind of ticking the boxes of, I wanna add these motors, I wanna add this flight controller, those types of things. So um, we're using a full 3K, a zero to nine degree layup with a 45 degree switch inside. Um, so basically it's, extremely strong um, I mean very rigid very right? very rigid um, no corners cut we tried to find the best carbon we could tried to find the best carbon cutter um, so we're really going after just a really high-end high-end frame yeah um, definitely premium products over here absolutely so uh, we and we're having a number of guys one thing I will mention about this one this one's the UL 12 that I'm holding here and as far as we're aware of this is the lightest, smallest frame on the market that can handle five inch props. So, um, and another thing, yeah, is the flight controller and ESC board that's in the micro is actually what's sitting on this, this one here. So, See, cool. Um, so anyway, so it is, uh, it can handle five inch props. The frame itself comes in right around 25 grams. So just, I mean, crazy light. Um, so we're, again, we're after those people that are wanting to go with the hyper light builds and just be crazy fast. Um, also too, you'll see we have our pod on here. And this is a unique design. Again, we want to go with very minimalistic. You can build this up however you want. There's, I mean, however, you, you know, whatever you want to do with it. But what we have set in here is on the bottom, uh, a 30.5, your standard, or 30. And then uh, right above that, there's a spot for a 20 millimeter board. And then just above that, there's a spot for a 16 millimeter board. So it's kind of like a Christmas tree type build is what we call it. And uh, so you can build that up how you want with components you want. Currently, like this one, we're using our own boards. And then we have an M Nova uh, as our video transmitter. And then we're using a Fox here. Uh, I think it's a Micro Swift on this one. So, um, so anyway, so again, it's just very minimalistic. And we have a couple of different variations of it. We have the UL12, which is our smallest and lightest. We have the UL16, which is a slight bit bigger that can use like your 2204, uh, 2305 those. And then, and these are not final, the carbon and everything. But, and then we also have what we call our, our Aeon Fat, P-H-A-T. And uh, cause this is just the big boy. If you want to do a more standard build with ESCs or you just want to ensure it's not going to break. I mean, we've pretty much destroyed these things and can't break them, so. Um, and then the last thing is, uh, Actually, these just came in yesterday. So these are our brand new motors. Um, they were built by, or they were built for us by T-Motor. Um, but they're all our design and everything. We spent a lot of time going over this design. Um, it's a 2305 motor, 2500 KV, has single strand silver winding, um, has open base, 16 by 16 millimeter mount pattern. Um, we also beefed up the mounting and everything to ensure it's super strong. Um, one of the other big keys to it is we have 7075 uh, stainless hardware. So, okay, there so we, we go. Went with the hard light stuff. Aircraft then, aluminum right there, folks. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is beautiful stuff. We're really excited about it. Uh, and then the prop nut even is also 7075 and it's 2.5 millimeter. So most are four millimeters. So we even got like a low profile nut that we put on it. So you're trying to conserve We're maximum trying to conserve weight. Yeah. Maximum weight, but also to it, it creates just a more streamlined, low profile look as well. Right, and, to uh, go with, along with your other kits, right? Correct. And these are not complete yet either. We have a few changes we're gonna make, but these will be on market quick. One of the big changes is the actual uh, wiring. will also be ribbon cables. So they'll actually be together. Um, so you don't have all those strands just hanging out. I got so you. it creates a cleaner look. Oh, that um, was great. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. We're excited about that. We have some other things we're launching. We're launching some new batteries as well. Um, so, and these are uh, 1100 4S pack. We also have a 1300 we're releasing. Um, and what's nice, it has a removable balance oh, okay. lead. So you're not uh, cutting Constantly those off. breaking them. Exactly. <laughs> and always saying, what do I do with these things? So 
Um, and we've got our things like some WIPO straps and things as well. So Yeah, so they got little connectors right here. And you can just connect it on and off however you like. Yeah. You could actually do some really innovative things like, you know, power LEDs if you put in the right connectors totally. and stuff. So Absolutely. this is actually a really cool innovation. Thank you. So, um, so yeah, that's just some of the stuff we have going on. Um, you can find everything at our website. Um, we have information on it. All this will be available for order to uh, within the coming week or two or even next month. So there you go. Drone art. Absolutely. Thanks, Wai. I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice meeting you.